Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP, but before I do, I want to say something. I appreciate all of you. The support you show this channel is truly amazing. It's growing into something I never thought it would. And like I said, I appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart. And a lot of you asked me in the comments, how do we stop the Great Reset? Is it too late to stop the Great Reset? So let's take a look, because I'm going to show you something amazing that happened. Congratulations to the strong Italian people for their right-wing victories in the election and their rejection of the world disorder and Great Reset. I wish all success and longevity to Giorgia Maloney, Italy's next Prime Minister. That's how you stop it. You vote these people out. We have an election coming up here in the United States very soon in November. You have to take a good look at the people that are running. If it looks like they're buddied up with people that are involved in the Great Reset, you need to vote against them. And I don't care what country you're in, you need to do the same. Vote against the Great Reset while you still have a chance. And then there's this. So Sunday Live, Italy rejects EU's war with Russia as shock election rocks Great Reset agenda. You see, they already know that's bad for the Great Reset. Again, the second largest food distribution in the world is on fire in France. Now, at this point, we know this is intentional. It's one after another. And these, that's exactly how we get to the Great Reset, by people doing this, causing food shortages, energy crisis. The list goes on and on. It's crisis after crisis. Power firm warns unprecedented liquidity crisis in Europe. Then there's this. And this I actually seen is going on in the U.S. also that we're in some sort of copper shortage. But I couldn't find exactly where I seen it before. So, lockdown aftermath. Chinese copper giant hits liquidity crisis. One of China's most influential commodities traders has recently asked for government and financial institutions help after liquidity. So China feels it also. They're also having a huge problem with their housing market and the real estate market. And then there's this. And so the dominoes effects ripple. Same things occurring in multiple countries recently in China and Ireland. Bank branches closing in Australia, etc. It's the slow drip of the major liquidity crisis that will go free-falling into a collapse. Lebanon banks will remain shut indefinitely after heist. People broke in to get their own money out. And we're going to see this throughout the world as time goes on, if we let the Great Reset happen. Because they're pushing us into it. Liquidity crisis incoming. The Australian Central Bank has reported a loss of $37 billion and plans to cut dividends to the Treasury. Central banks around the world are now reporting losses also. QE has backfired. And again, you need to keep paying attention to this because as long as we leave these people in office, this is the agenda we're going to get. A data center owned that houses Bitcoin mining rigs and blockchain companies file for bankruptcy after succumbing to a liquidity crisis brought on by higher electricity prices and a crash in crypto prices. And again, they're going to force Bitcoin mining out at some point. You, it's, you, the energy bills, the electricity bills are going to be so high that you can't make any money mining Bitcoin. So nobody's going to even want to do it at some point. The global energy crisis provides a great opportunity for the developed world to reassess its fossil fuel dependence. And again, you can't just go shutting down nuclear reactors with no other alternative for energy in place. You just, it can't be done. If you, they shut down all of the nuclear power plants inside of the U.S. right now, guess what? We would most likely go dark. Because we have nothing in place to replace it. It looks like a liquidity crisis is brewing in Europe also. And we know that because we've seen it. Most European banks' liquidity ratios dip in quarter two. They're forcing this to happen. It's not by accident. 
Huge liquidity crisis incoming. It starts in Europe. Solution, a decentralized, fast-moving, and highly liquid asset, XRP. Everyone at this point knows what fixes the liquidity problem. Like XRP gets up and says, what liquidity crisis? I could fix that right now. That's how quick it can be done. Meanwhile, the SEC is holding back innovation inside the U.S., most likely on purpose until the Fed is ready. People still want to pocket some cash along the way. But here's the thing, at this point inside the U.S., our money's backed by empty promises. There's nothing back in it. As they print money, it's just printing paper at this point. Because all we are is in debt. Not dollar, promissory note. And everyone should be glad that asset-backed currency is being reinstituted amongst those within the BRIC system. And that will expose the central banking scam to everyone, even those still refusing to see the matrix. Gold shall destroy the Fed. If BRICS gets their digital assets backed by gold, it's game over in this currency war we're in right now. Because once you actually can back your money, your money is worth the most. Since Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa are buying up all the gold, a new financial system is being ran and tested right now using DLT. XRP is a viable option for this system. Dollars will return to the U.S. economy e equals hyperinflation. And what that is, is dollar devalues more, interest rates spike. Interest rates are what the U.S. Inc. uses to pay the debt to the Fed. We the people pay for this, taxes, spending, credits, interest, payments, collapse of the economy, free fall of petrodollar, 401k, retirement, etc., and that's the thing that's really bad about this. If the dollar falls, people's retirement will go with it. A lot of people will lose all of their money. That's why it's so important to be invested in crypto right now. Because I believe crypto will skyrocket as the dollar falls. And at some point, the dollar is going to come crashing down. It's just a matter of time. I think once these BRICS nations announce that they're no longer going to use the dollar... That's it for the dollar. Then crypto will explode. Watch it Italy quit the euro and join BRICS with the Belt and Road Initiative, CIPs, and gold-backed currency. If, Ital if Italy joins BRICS and stops using the US dollar, that's it for the dollar, in my opinion. I've also heard that central banks and sovereign funds have been accumulating gold. Turkey was the largest gold accumulator this year and are exploring BRICS membership. It's country after country at this point. Because they've seen how we weaponized the dollar. I've said it many times. And again, the day that they weaponized the US dollar against Russia, it was a game changer, and it changed a massive timeline. I don't think we have until 2025 anymore. Like everybody keeps saying, I'll invest in crypto in 2024. Are you honestly going to sit on the sidelines and wait until 2024 to get in because at that point i believe xrp will be sky high in price if russia and BRICS nations start using xrp for cross-border payments don't be surprised if it starts going up two to three digits quickly that's how fast it can happen and I honestly believe that BRICS is going to use xrp because ripple has already announced a lot of partnerships within Brazil, India, and I believe South Africa already uses on-demand liquidity. And I believe Russia and China are also going to use XRP too. So it's just a matter of time now. And if we don't stop the Great Reset, remember we talked about the chips being put in people? Well, guess what? I want to say something. I am never ever getting that chip. I don't care if there's a million dollars, millions of dollars sitting in the bank that I have to access through getting that chip, I'm still not getting the chip. And with that said, we're going to wrap up today's video. Again, I appreciate all of you coming and watching my videos because if it wasn't for you, I honestly would not be here. And I appreciate every single one of you. And it makes me want to make more content, honestly. The more of you that show up and watch my videos, the more I want to make more of them. 
And I mean, the comments that you write are incredible. A lot of you are show me a lot of support, and it goes a long way. And I, again, appreciate all of it. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.